Hello and welcome to the NCSY Alumni YouTube page. My name is Yosef Kurtz from NCSY Canada. Thanks so much for tuning in. In the beginning of this week's Parsha, Parsha Svayigash, we have the story of Yehuda and Yosef. And Yehuda, after seeing enough of Yosef's antics, stands up and says, enough is enough. We're not going to give you our brother Binyamin. Look at what it's going to do to my father Yaakov. It's going to kill him. My father's already lost one son. He can't afford to lose another son, especially not one from his favorite wife, Rachel. And after seeing this, Yosef decides that he is going to reveal his true identity and stop being hidden from his brothers and tell them that I am Yosef, your brother, who you sold to Egypt so many years ago. And the Shem Mishmuel, a commentator on the Torah, asks the question that why now? Why was it now time for Yosef to reveal his identity and stop putting his brothers through all this suffering? And the Shemesh Mul brings down a medrash that tells of a well in the middle of a city. And the well is hundreds of feet deep. And at the bottom of the well is the most delicious, pure, and clean of water. And at the top of the well is a town that desperately needs that water. And they're going through a drought, but nobody could access the water. Until one day a man comes along and develops a system where he could put a bucket at the end of a rope that's very long. He lowers the rope down and the bucket brings up the water. And the town is able to be nourished and satisfied from this water. And the Shemish Mul says that the water at the bottom of the well, that's Yosef. And the bucket that goes down from the top of the well to bring up the water, that's Yehuda. Yosef was a hidden individual. Rashi tells us that Yosef used to make his hair nice and wear fancy clothes in order to keep his identity hidden. Yosef was a tzaddik, but he didn't want anyone to know. He never wanted praise. He never wanted to brag or be bashful. Yehuda, on the other hand, was a public figure, so much so that at the beginning of this week's Parsha, when he saw the injustice that Yosef was putting on him, his brothers, and their father, he is the one of all the brothers to stand up and say enough is enough. Yosef recognized that even though it's a good thing to run away from praise and to never brag, sometimes you need that public figure to stand up and say, this is what's right and this is what we have to do. The Shem Mishmuel says that it's a lesson that we all have to learn, that on one hand, we need to have the side of us that's Yosef, that we have to run away from gaiva, from bragging, from praise, and from being bashful. But on the other hand, when there's an opportunity to spread the warmth of Torah to our fellow Jews, we have to take that opportunity and be a public figure like Yehuda. Rav Simcha Bunim used to say that in each and every one of our pockets, we should keep two pieces of paper. On one paper, it should say that the world was created for me. On the other piece of paper, it should say that I am nothing but dust and ashes. This teaches us that on one side, we're supposed to recognize that we're not supposed to brag. We're not supposed to be a Balgaiva. We're not supposed to be bashful. On the other piece of paper, it says that the world was created for me. That when the time comes and we can succeed and do it and seize an opportunity that can spread the warmth of Judaism and Torah to our fellow people, then we have to take that opportunity. We just finished the Nase of Hanukkah, the holiday of Hanukkah. It's a holiday where we're trying to spread the beauty and the light of Yiddishkeit, but we do it with one little candle in the darkest time of the year. My blessing is that each and every one of you that's watching this video should take the beauty of the holiday of Hanukkah and spread the warmth of Judaism and the warmth of our Torah to all your friends and your family and to your entire cities and communities. Thank you so much. Have a good Shabbos and remember to subscribe.